we just sort of didn't talk about it, went in, let ourselves kind of not know how it was going to go. And in the process, in the moment, I remember being like, oh, shit, this guy gets me. And that's <laughs> kind of exactly what was happening in the scene is we're both going, this guy gets me. And yeah, it's sort of like sealed the deal. Charlie, so my first question is for you. I read that you sat down with author Gregory uh, and like in preparation for the show. So I was wondering, like, what would you say is like the most important or like valuable thing you may have learned from him going into the series? Oh, it's very interesting. I, I think that probably the most valuable thing was just having the confidence that we were actually had fairly similar souls. You know, he's extraordinarily um, intelligent. So. I knew that I wasn't going to be able to sort of match him on an intellect level, but, you know, heart and soul felt like, you know, like there was some kinship there. And we spent, you know, uh, I've talked about this a little bit, but in the four days that we spent together, every single person that we met assumed that we were father and son. And we don't really look that similar. So I thought it was much more of an essence thing that they were uh, reacting to. So I was very nervous. It's nerve wracking to play a real person who's still alive and is going to watch your efforts to bring them to life. And I left, I was terrified by the, the prospect of that. And I left there feeling like he loved me and that, that I understood who he was. And so I had the confidence to, you know, go bring forth my version of Lynn. Amazing. Yeah. I mean, it, it came off really great. So, um, Shabba, my next question is for you. I love the relationship between your character and Lynn. And I was like, just curious, how did you and Charlie sort of like build that rapport? And then, you know, you guys also, it was so spread out over so many years filming this. So how did you guys kind of keep that up too? We've talked about this a lot before. Um, actually I jumped on the project very late. So for me, <laughs> first time me and Charlie met, was actually the first day of shoot for me. Oh, wow. Okay. So we really didn't get any time to chat about it, prep at all. And that kind of proved to be the greatest gift for us too, because we just sort of didn't know what the hell we were doing. It's kind of a key scene for their relationship where, you know, they commune, as Charlie says, uh, yeah. over marijuana and whiskey and fine dining um, in a slum. And uh, we just sort of didn't talk about it went in, let ourselves kind of not know how it was going to go. And in the process, in the moment, I remember being like, oh, shit, this guy gets me. And that's <laughs> kind of exactly what was happening in the scene is we're both going, this guy gets me. And yeah, it sort of like sealed the deal. And the rest was history, as they say. <laughs> yeah, well, I love how it paralleled real life. I feel like that makes it all better. <laughs> Yeah. And that is the case so often, you know, you, it's always inexplicable who you're going to like in the world and who you're going to have chemistry and who you're going to say something to. And they're actually going to really hear what you say, what you're saying and not hear what they think that you're saying, you know, and that was like the relationship between Lin and Prabhu is the beating heart of Shantaram. And if we didn't like each other or didn't, weren't able to connect, there's been little tough. you can do to manufacture that. Yeah, we yeah. would spend 13 hours a day, like trapped in a hot little tent together. Right. <laughs> we couldn't chat. It would have been really, you know, like watching paint dry. Yeah. Super awkward. <laughs> awesome. Well, uh, thank you so much, guys. It was great talking today. I love the show so much. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. much. Sorry this thank was so you. brief. No worries. It was great talking to y'all. See you later. Bye. Bye.